One of them is Wisconsin Governor Scott Walker. He gained national attention in 2011, passing a series of laws that angered unions, and that led to a recall vote, which Walker survived. In his new book, Unintimidated, Walker argues his fellow Republicans should look to a governor when selecting their next nominee. Governor, pleased to have you here. Good to be with you. We'll talk about politics in a moment, but first, health care. Yeah. Uh, what can the president do to make this a successful piece of legislation? He has said if 80% of people are signed up, that would be success. Well, I think clearly they have to fix the website, and that's first and foremost. Whether you've got a state exchange or federal exchange, people just aren't getting well, what's in. What's the measure of success? Well, I, th for this I, I don't know that there's a percentage out there. I think people in our state, for example, we have no coverage gap. Even though uh, we didn't take the Medicaid expansion, we didn't do a federal exchange, we don't have a coverage gap. In fact, in many ways, uh, we were already covered in Wisconsin, and they're not doing that's it. Wisconsin is an alternative by the Republican Party in the Congress that would uh, be appropriate? Oh, I think that that's our ultimate goal. We can't relish the frustrations that people are having across America. The last thing Republicans want to do is look like we're the ones at the edge of the cliff pushing Obamacare over the top. But we have to come back with a market-driven alternative out there. I think if when. I'd say fairly soon this year yet. I think the sooner we can come out with something in the states we're doing that, that's exactly what I talk about in the book. Those are the sorts of things that there's a stark contrast between Republicans being optimistic and relevant in the states versus the failure to do that in our federal government. Republicans have lost uh, the popular vote in five of the past six presidential elections. The Republican Party is looking to win in 2016 and, and to make reforms. Mm -hmm. You're a governor, um, but you have said that the next nominee has to come from outside of Washington, mm -hmm. has to be a governor. Isn't it a bit presumptuous to, to rule out people like Senator Marco Rubio, Senator Rand Paul, your good friend, Congressman Paul Ryan? Since All great people. In fact, if there was a fan club for Paul Ryan, I would be the president of that. Um, but I think but you just don't want him to be president. Well, I just look at the overall, and again, this is one of the things I highlight in the book. Overall, people in America, I think, are frustrated with everyone in Washington, not just Republicans, not just Democrats, with, with the lack of getting things done. And in the book, I contrast the fact that in the states where the optimism is, and you even mentioned the numbers in the presidential elections, in 30 states in America after last November's presidential election, there are now 30 states with Republican governors, almost as many states with Republican legislative majorities. But Why? Me, you had an outsider in the last election. That didn't work. Well, but again, th those are one of the, the, the key differences in the future. A proven successful reformer in the states, I think, would go a long way, not just towards winning, but more importantly, towards governing. It just so happens you spent last night with Chris Christie. I, yeah, <laughs> I did. I Unfortunately, think we saw... on the losing end of a football game. Yeah, yeah. That we saw the pictures of, of you and, uh, and Governor Christie at the Giants-Packers game. Yeah, if I was, instead of wearing Aaron Rodgers as a jersey, it would have been nice if Aaron so, Rodgers was there. So after that, you're prepared to say, Governor Christie is just the kind of man the Republicans need. He's a governor. Uh, he can appeal across the board. He's the guy. I, I think any of the 30 Republican governors would be a marked improvement over this president. But some of the people who look at you and what you said say he has defined it and he had one governor in mind and that happened to be the governor of Wisconsin. Oh, no. I mean, I think in the end, you look at the difference out there. People see governors as being more optimistic, more relevant, more courageous. And in fact, in all those states we just talked about in the presidential election, Iowa, Wisconsin, uh, Michigan, Ohio, Virginia, all those states are states that were battleground states, and yet Republicans are governors in those states. Governor, your comments get a lot of attention about needing someone from outside Washington. But isn't that a bit simplistic? Isn't it really about policies and reform mm -hmm. that you talk about, that a lot of governors talk about, that they do in their states? Why not, on, for instance, on immigration reform? Mm -hmm. You have said you support a pathway to citizenship. Do you think the next nominee for the Republican Party has to back a pathway for the 11 million undocumented immigrants in the ah, country. Ah, but see, there's the difference. I talk about a legal pathway towards there, not amnesty, not the legislation. They're what talking is about a legal Washington. Pathway? Well, to me, the, 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 what we talk about with the debate in Washington is just addressing the symptom, not the overall problem. That's the difference between, again, what I see in the states and see in the federal government. The, the bigger problem is we don't have a legal immigration system. You so know, my you give them temporary visas on a pathway to. Why do you got to fix the front door uh, before you talk about who came in? You got to fix the front door. My ancestors came from Germany and Ireland. My wife's uh, family came from Sicily. My in-laws, or my brother's in-laws, I should say, came from Mexico. In every one of those cases, they came here as immigrants. But we also are a country not only of immigrants, but of laws. And right now, we don't enforce the law for legal immigration on the front end. You could fix all these other problems if we had a successful legal immigration system in the United States. Governor we'll Scott. wait for specifics. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you. Unintimidated goes on sale tomorrow.